Okay, so today we're going to talk about 4.1 solving systems of equation by graphing. So we have three methods of solving systems of equations, and this is going to be the first that we talk about. So we have a couple of vocabulary. So a system of linear equations is two or more linear equations written together. A solution to a system of linear equations is the point that makes equations, sorry, that makes all equations true. Okay, when we're graphing, this is going to be the point of intersection. Okay, so we look at this first one. We want to graph the system of equations to find the solution. So remember, whenever we're graphing, we really want to be in slope intercept form. If you want to find your x and y intercepts, that's fine as well, but we're going to review slope intercept form. Okay, so looking at A, we have y equals negative 2x plus 4, and y equals 0.5x minus 1. So for this first line, we know our slope is negative 2 and our b or our y intercept equals 4. So I'm going to go up 4 on our graph and then our slope negative 2 over 1 so down to right 1 and we want to be as exact as possible so I'm going to keep going with our slope of down to right one until we're completely across our graph. And then we can make our line. All right, looking at our second equation, we have y equals one half x minus one. So I'm gonna rewrite this is y equals one half as a fraction minus one. We know our slope is the one half and our y-intercept is the negative one. So on our graph, we're gonna start at our y-intercept of negative one, and then we're going to go up one to the right two, up one to the right two, and since we've found our line or our point where we're going to intersect, we'll go ahead and draw that. Okay, and our point of intersection is right here. So our ordered pair or our solution is the ordered pair to zero. All right, looking at B. We have 15x plus 5y equals 25. So here we want to make sure we are in slope-intercept form. So I'm going to rewrite our equation over to the right. 15x plus 5y equals 25. If we want to get y by itself, we're going to subtract 15x. So 5 minus 5x equals negative 15x plus 25. Divide everything by five. So y equals negative three x plus five. Okay, so now we can say our slope is negative three and our y-intercept equals five. So on our graph, let's slide this over. We're gonna go up five on our y-axis, put our first point, and then we're going to go down three to the right one. Remember, we're gonna continue graphing that until we fall off our graph. Oops. Okay, make it as straight as you possibly can. 
All right, looking at our second line, we have y equals five minus three x. I'm gonna rearrange this, so we have y equals negative three x plus five. Okay, our slope is negative three, and our y-intercept is five. Okay, notice those are the exact same. So when we graph this, it's gonna have the exact same y-intercept, same slope, which means it's the same line. Okay, since it's the same line, it's going to intersect infinitely many times. So we have infinitely many solutions. Infinitely many solutions. All right, and looking at C, we have three X plus two Y equals six. We solve for y. I'm going to rewrite this over to the right. We're going to start off with subtracting our 3x. So we can move it to the other side. So 2y equals negative 3x plus 6. Divide everything by 2. So y equals negative 3 halves x plus 6 divided by 2 is 3. So if we graph that, we're going to go up three on our y-axis, put our first point, and then we're going to go down three, the right two. And then same thing, up three to the left two. Okay. And then looking at our second line, 2 thirds y equals 3 minus x. So let's multiply by 3 to get rid of this fraction. So we're left with 2y equals 9 minus 3x. And then to get y by itself, we're going to divide by 2. So we have y equals, and I'm going to switch this, let's make this negative 3 halves x plus 9 halves. So our slope is negative 3 halves, and our y-intercept is 9 halves, which is 4.5. Okay, so if we graph this, we're going to go up to 4 and a half and put our first point, and then we're going to go down 3, to the right two, down three, the right two. Okay, if we graph this, notice what the two lines are. The two lines never intersect because they're parallel. Ooh, I just pictured that. Well, we start that over. There we go. Okay, so since they're parallel, they never intersect, which means we have no solution. 